So I was looking for a project that I could use my new scroll saw on, and I also wanted to build something for my wife for Valentine's Day. So what I found was this scarf tree from Woodworking for Mere Mortals. One of the Mimos over there put it up, and I thought I would give it a try. Steve Ramsey and David Gunn, the Mimo, were nice enough to provide a template on MereMortals.com that you can just print out and use some spray adhesive to glue to your piece of wood uh, to make this project. I used Loctite light spray adhesive. It worked fantastic. The cool thing about the templates that they provide is that it has little crosshairs so you can line the papers up and see exactly where they go on top of each other. Once you have everything glued down to your wood, all you have to do is use your scroll saw, or if you don't have a scroll saw, you can use a jigsaw to cut the template out. This was my first time using a scroll saw, so it did take a little bit of getting used to, but I was able to cut the tree out without too many problems, and I was pretty satisfied with my final result. So this template has a lot of holes you can cut out, but I decided not to do that. I decided just to use a Forstner bit, a one and a half inch Forstner bit, to drill the holes that the scars would go through. When drilling, I made sure not to go all the way through the piece of wood. That way I wouldn't have tear out. I just went to the very edge of the wood and then I would flip it over and finish the hole from the other side. And that advice comes straight from David Gunn's tutorial on woodworkingformeremortals.com. I just used a drill bit to manually poke through to the back side. That way I could see where I needed to drill to make a clean hole. Now to give all the edges a nice round over, smooth it out a little bit. And now I'm gonna slap on a few coats of Danish oil. I use the um, dark walnut, I think is what I'm using there. And I like the way it looks. It takes me over a full minute to get these gloves on. I don't know what my deal is. I'm not too good at it. But it does keep my hands clean. So I like that. I like to just rub the Danish oil on with a cloth and not pour it all over the place. I did that a couple times and I think it just wastes a lot and makes a huge mess. So I just rub it on there and then I wait a while and then I come and rub some more on there. And I'll shoot that a couple times with my spray paint. Time to add the coat hanger, so I just drill a hole in the top, add some epoxy and stick it in there, let it dry, and voila, I got a nice present. If you like this video, please check out my other videos. You can also like and subscribe. Thanks, have a good one.